Welcome everyone. Okay, if you followed the earlier Windows GSM videos, then you installed Windows GSM and you installed your plugin and you've installed the forest. So what what we're going to do now is just configure the forest. The first thing I recommend is just embed console that simply um, let's your running server show up in this window instead of a pop-up. This one here will pop up a second window anyways. What you're going to use most often is the edit config button to make sure that this stuff is correct. In this case here, the server name only affects what shows up in Windows GSM. It does not show um, affect what shows up when you log into a game. You want to config your file path in this server start param, just like this. That's all you need. Save that, and then we're going to go up to Browse, Server Files. You're going to go to Server Config, and we're going to edit this with Note++. And then in here, you're going to edit the server name and whatever else you want. There's a list of options here. You can have a password, you can have players, you know, standard stuff. And that's it. Once you do this, save it. And start your server. And it doesn't take long to run this one. You still have to open your ports. If you don't know how to open your ports, go to makeyourownserver.com. There should be a link in the description. And there's a tells you how to open ports in there. We can't cover every detail because doing ports can be very tricky. There's a, so many different router types, but it's covered in there with a link to all the routers. So that should get you going. Okay, our server started. So then, once our server started, we're going to open Steam Query Port. Let's do a fresh re uh, refresh here. So when you open Steam Query Tool, that's um, Linked also on the webpage, but southnode.net Steam Query Tool, just Google Steam Query Tool. You're going to just type in your IP here, the one that shows up right there. Hit Search IP, and it's listed. So what this tells you is you are at least reporting to Steam. Um, Steam sees your game. Now, that doesn't mean you'll be able to connect. It, you could have other problems. You could have ports, Windows Defender. You could still have things not set up correctly, but this is an excellent starting point. If you have trouble getting your server to show in the list after you do this, then also on the web page is how to troubleshoot not finding your server in a list. But our server is supposed to work. So let's take a look and see if it does. It does take a minute or so to register when you launch a server. So the first time, you may want to wait three to five minutes. You know, if it's better to do that than to jump into a bunch of troubleshooting when you never had a problem. And we're going to go on, if you're on a LAN, you can search, you can check under LAN, it should show up. Uh, this case here, we're on two different internet connections. And there's our server. So we're good to go. Hint, try upgrading your weapons. I don't have any weapons. Probably a good idea. Okay, and we're in the game. It's that easy to set up a server, my friends. 
we're going to call this one good and we will see you on the next one.